In last night's coverage on CITV, the Honorable Prime Minister warned the public that they should hear both sides to the story when considering the current campaign that's against Persane fishing. The Ipukaria Society director, Calvin Passfield, believes that both sides of the story have been told, with the public still leaning towards the side that's against Persane fishing. Well, the Prime Minister said uh, that people should be careful to listen to both sides of the story on the development of the Persane fishery, and you know, we couldn't agree more. Uh, but we think that, in fact, uh, the government has already given its side of the uh, story on the development of the Persane fishery very strongly. They've, they've gone out and signed the uh, agreements with the uh, Persane fishing fleets from overseas. Uh, they did that without <laughs> getting both sides of the story. They didn't listen to what the people were asking. Now the, the people are you know, asking for more information, more transparency. Uh, MMR have had a public consultation to give their side of the story. So the people have heard their side and they still come out very strongly against Persane fishing. So I think, uh, yeah, both sides of the story have been told. Major concerns with Persane fishing has always been the bycatch caught by Persaners, which includes the likes of Big Eye Tuna. Calvin Passfield, who has worked on tuna and bycatch related fisheries projects in Samoa, Fiji and Tuvalu, talked more on concerns not touched on by the Prime Minister. Okay, the, the Prime Minister said that skipjack tuna only have a lifespan of three or four years. Well, in, in fact, they can live to be you know, eight to ten or even twelve years of age. Uh, they may average about four years of age, but then that's probably because they get caught by persaners. <laughs> when they're only about uh, three or four years of age. So they can live a lot longer. The bigger they get, the more they can breed. And in any case, we've never been concerned particularly about the skipjack tuna resource. That's not our concern. Our concern is the big eye tuna, which is caught as bycatch, particularly when the persaners use fish aggregation devices, which is why we've been at the government for two years now to please consider a ban on fish aggregation devices. But yeah, we've just been you know, getting nowhere. There's been no effort at compromise at all by government, which you may have seen on our ads that we put on TV. We say we call for a ban on fads, but we also say if government won't consider a ban on fads, then we should have a full ban on persaining. And that's really why we are here, where we are today. There has been a recent development in the removal of the current nationwide petition that's against Persane fishing in Aquila's shop in Aitstaki, where the petition has now been returned to Aquila's shop by police as of today. We did hear today that the, the petition which was confiscated from Aquila's store in Aitstaki has now been returned by the police, which is good, so people can carry on signing at Aquila's store. There is also a petition still at the Kuru Cafe in Aitutaki, but we uh, asked again today if the Island Council is now happy with the petition being circulated to the other outlets that would like to have copies of the petition in Aitutaki, and uh, we're just uh, waiting on a response from them. I mean, realistically, uh, you know, as, as we think we understand, we don't need Island Council approval, but we would like to have it. Uh, just trying to keep everybody happy and showing respect to the Island Council. The protest march that was organised at a grassroots level by concerned citizens is confirmed to take place tomorrow afternoon. As most people know, there's a march that's been organised uh, in support of a ban on Persane fishing in the Cook Islands. The march, it wasn't organised by Pukaria Society, it was organised by others, but we're in full support of it. And, uh, a whole lot of people are going to turn up at 4.15 at uh, Abadoa Wharf around the Tra Trader Jacks area to start the march for 4.30. Uh, a lot of people will have t-shirts like this one that have been printed, but you don't need a t-shirt to come along to the march. If you haven't managed to get your t-shirt printed, don't worry. There may actually be some available there at the beginning of the march, but just, just come and march anyway and let your voice be heard because as the T-shirt says, unless you do, you know, uh, government's not going to listen. And I think we need to show government really what the people of the Cook Islands think about Persane fishing in our waters.